The new Minecraft 1.20 update came out today, so I have three farms that you need to build that will help you get started. All of the materials for every single one of these farms will be in the description. The first farm we're going to be building is a cow farm, so the first thing you want to do is build this U-shape right here, so that you can have a 2x2 two two in the center of your U. We're going to mine that out and place down a double chest at the front of the U, and then run two hoppers into the back of this chest, like so. We're going to come to the front now and break these two blocks in front of the double chest, and then we're going to place down a 3x2 of glass just above it, like that. On the inside of the farm, we're going to place down a dispenser, and then on the front side, place down a block and then a lever on that block, so that way you can activate the dispenser. We're going to fill in the rest of this U-shape with some blocks, and then we're going to build out by two blocks, just like that. We're then going to grab some more blocks and we're going to create a giant ring around the entire farm to create a larger U and we're going to do this once again. So we want to have two blocks on this top layer and then fill in the area above the glass. Inside of the farm now, grab some signs and place down two signs at the bottom of the chamber next to those hoppers and then we're going to place down two temporary blocks right here and then fill in the top blocks like that. So when it's all said and done, you have a two by two square and then we're going to grab our water buckets, place them both at the back side so that the water flows over. And now what we need to do is get some cows in here. So it would be a lot easier if you built yourself a little staircase to lead the cows up. And then we want to get two cows in here so that we can breed them. After you have two cows in your farm, grab some fence posts and we're going to place down four fence posts above the area where all of the cows are going to go. So once you have your fence posts in place, we're going to grab our wheat and we're going to breed our cows so that they create a baby cow. And we're just going to keep breeding these guys until we have about 50 cows up in this area because that way we're going to have 25 babies every time we use the farm. After you get 50 cows, it should look something like this a little cluttered if I do say so myself but we're gonna come down here we're gonna break the block above the dispenser and then we're gonna break the two temporary blocks we placed earlier grab your signs now and we're gonna place down two signs on these glass blocks that way only baby cows are gonna make it into the kill chamber we're then gonna go ahead and plug up this hole and this farm is now ready to be used. The only thing we have left to do is add lava into the farm. All you need to do now is go ahead and add a lava bucket into the dispenser. That way when you flick the lever, it's gonna spew out lava and if you double click it, it's gonna retract the lava and that is exactly how this farm is going to function. We're going to grab our wheat now and climb up our staircase. We're going to come up here and we're just going to go ahead and breed these cows until they will not accept our wheat anymore. And this is going to push all of the baby cows into that chamber where we will wait for them to grow up and then inevitably use the lava on them. The great thing about this farm is you really only have to wait about a minute before you can use it again. So as you see, we have a bunch of baby cows here, but if we wait a minute, we can go back up there and breed these cows again. And this farm is super efficient because if you use this thing for literally an hour where your only mission is to breed those cows, you can easily fill this double chest with steak. All right, I've been using this farm for a little while now. And as you can see, there are some adult cows. So to use the farm, all we're gonna do is flick the lever once. It's gonna spew out the lava, wait for it to hit the other side, and then retract it and all of these cows are going to die off now so this side is going to die first and then these cows and then in the end you're going to have a bunch of steak and leather in here so this is great for bookshelves early game and it's even better as a food source and it's relatively cheap to build the most expensive thing is probably those hoppers i'm going to be uploading every single day for the next week with a new tutorial for 1.20 so be sure to subscribe and if you're here from the future then please tell me how's the weather and all those videos will already be added. Out. This next farm has two uses. You can either use it for sugarcane or you can use it for bamboo. It's a super easy farm, but it is so useful. So if you just built that cow farm and you're looking for some paper, then this is the perfect farm for you. We're going to place down two blocks right here, and then we're going to place down eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two blocks on the end right here, and then go ahead and dig out a little strip in front of all of those blocks. On this last block here, we're going to add a hopper running into that block. Go ahead and break those two blocks and set down a barrel. This is going to be where all of the drops end up. And we're going to go ahead and place down pistons on every single one of those blocks along the back. And then we're going to place down blocks next to all of those pistons with redstone dust on top of them, like so. 
Still on the back side of the farm, we're gonna grab some observers and place down eight observers all the way across those pistons. However, if you are using bamboo instead of sugarcane, I really only recommend using one observer. Having all eight is a bit overkill, but for the sugarcane, it is really useful to constantly have the sugarcane being broken as soon as one grows to three blocks. We're gonna grab some more blocks now and build up by two on both of these walls and then come around back and we're gonna place down eight blocks on the backside of those observers. We're then gonna go ahead and place down either our sugarcane or our bamboo. If you are placing down sugarcane, make sure to add your water here. And if you're using bamboo, you need that water anyways. That is going to be the collection system. So all of the drops end up in this hopper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do half and half. We'll do four pieces of sugarcane and four pieces of bamboo because why not? I'm feeling a little different today. We're gonna go ahead and add in these blocks on the end here just to keep everything nice and contained. And if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and add a glass wall, which could look pretty nice. Make sure to add a roof over top of the plants, especially the bamboo. The sugarcane won't grow past the observers. However, the bamboo will go all the way up until it is 16 blocks tall which will cause issues. And that is the entire farm. All you need to do now is AFK and all of the drops are gonna end up in that barrel that we placed at the end. You just saw that bamboo grow and all of the sugarcane and bamboo is gonna end up in the barrel after you leave your device running or you're just in the area and the farm is loaded. This next farm I have always said is the most important and that is the wool farm. The earlier you build this, the better and that is because you're going to need tons and tons of wool when you're ready to get netherite. That way you can go mining with beds in the nether and also you're gonna want beds for when you're ready to build an iron farm. So the first thing you wanna do is break this block and place down an observer looking at the grass block and this is going to be where the sheep is standing. We're gonna grab a dispenser and place it on top of the observer facing in the same direction with a redstone dust behind the dispenser and then we're gonna grab our glass and place down two pieces of glass next to that dispenser and then we're gonna place down three more pieces like so we're now gonna dig out a three by three by one hole just like this go ahead and add a double chest at the bottom with a hopper running into that double chest set down a temporary block above the hopper with a rail on top and then a minecart hopper, break the temporary block. The minecart hopper will fall on top of that hopper. You can go ahead and grab your rail out of the chest and then leave this area and we're gonna place down those blocks again, leaving this last block open so that we can add a trap door so that you have access to all of the wool this farm is going to make. Now what you wanna do is lure a sheep over into the cage. I'm just gonna spawn one in and then we're gonna place down two pieces of glass in front of that sheep and that is the entire farm. The last thing is to go ahead and add a pair of shears into the dispenser so that way when the sheep eats the grass it's going to cause the dispenser to fire shearing the sheep and then all of the wool is going to end up in this chest obviously if you want a different color of wool then simply dye the sheep and you will get that color all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did then be sure to subscribe and leave a like as i said earlier in the video i'm going to be doing daily uploads every single day for the next week for the minecraft 1.20 update i am super excited to bring you guys all this new content so a subscription would mean the world to me with that said though my name is 1upmc and i will catch you guys in the next one